is eventually going to end up really crushed as if it were, you know, a, a Coke can underfoot by someone. We can really see how the atmosphere has just beat this thing into submission. So when the steam inside that can had emptied it of air, the atmosphere on the outside crushed it like a giant fist. But our atmosphere isn't just a static force, it also moves around. And when it does, we feel its power more than ever. I'm Gabrielle Walker, and you're listening to the BBC's Discovery Programme. Of course, we've all experienced moving air on a windy day, but higher up in the atmosphere, there are hidden invisible winds whose power defies belief. Every day, they're monitored all over the world using weather balloons. Even in remote areas, such as the Rothera Research Station of the British Antarctic Survey, which is where I met up with Dr. Jonathan Shanklin and a big cylinder of helium. Package. I'm nothing on like that. Allowing it to crack open the valves. This is a little package that's going to go up to about 20, 25 kilometers altitude, and it's got this little wire is the temperature sensor, and then it's got two sensors here that measures the humidity. It's got a GPS antenna for tracking exactly where it is, and inside here this little pressure sensor. And and the pressure sensor says how high it's got. Yes, you integrate the pressure and the temperature, and you get the height. But in theory, the GPS will also give you the height as an independent reference. Mm. And balloon flights like this will be taking place at locations.